Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man and today I'm going to review the Channel Master Pro Outdoor Antenna. Channel Master claims that it's one of the best antennas out there with very high made in the US build quality, UHF elements redesigned for repack frequencies, and optional VHF and UHF extensions to add even more gain. How well does it work? If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. As a heads up, Channel Master did send me this antenna and the extension elements for my independent analysis. No money was paid to me and Channel Master was given no early preview of this video. They are seeing it for the first time, just like you. Make sure to watch this full video as there is a lot of information in it. Don't just skip through to the results or you may miss the full picture. So Channel Master claims that their new Pro model is designed for post repack frequencies in the United States and offers excellent gain both on the VHF and UHF band. While I agree that the antenna is probably designed for repack frequencies on the UHF band, I'm a bit skeptical about the excellent gain claim as the size is pretty small. Without defying the laws of physics, a smaller antenna usually won't work as well as a larger antenna. However, VHF and UHF extensions can be added onto this antenna, which would definitely improve performance. I must say the upgradability of this antenna is definitely a very unique feature. The build quality of this antenna is impressive. It's solid with very high quality metal all around, and it has some weight to it. Unlike most antennas on the market, this one is made in the US. The base model of the Channel Master Pro antenna, which you see here, appears to be more of a small directional antenna, optimized for the high VHF and UHF band. The VHF extension gives it low VHF capability, which I will be testing out on some low VHF channels later in this video. Channel Master claims a 70 mile range on this antenna. I find this to be a bit of an exaggeration, at least for the base model. Sure, a small antenna might get some TV stations from 75 miles away in the right location, but probably not in all locations. Areas far from the broadcast towers tend to be in heavily wooded areas where a larger antenna is needed to keep the signals reliable in changing weather conditions. I won't completely roast Channel Master on this range claim as many other antenna companies claim the same mileage range on smaller antennas. In general, a small directional antenna is best for fair to strong signal areas within 40 or 50 miles of the broadcast towers. To be clear, you should not buy an antenna solely on the mileage claim, but rather how the antenna is designed for TV frequencies and signal strength at your location. On the product page, Channel Master claims the antenna is low VHF capable with a picture of the base model Nexus information. This is false. The base model of the Channel Master Pro is not low VHF capable as the VHF element on it is not long enough. For low VHF, you need to buy the VHF extension, which is not made clear on the website. It should be noted that most areas do not have low VHF stations that broadcast on RF channels 2 through 6. Make sure to run a reception report on rabbiteers.info to see what RF channels are in your area, as most TV stations do not broadcast in the RF channel they show on air. The RF channel of each TV station is in parentheses on the reception report. For example, in my area, CBS3 actually broadcasts on UHF channel 30. Besides a few TV stations like 6ABC in Philadelphia, PBS in Boston, Providence in Pittsburgh, most TV stations are on the high VHF and UHF bands. The majority of you do not need to worry about low VHF on the antenna. So will the Channel Master Pro still be able to pack a punch in a sleek and compact design? Let's find out. I tested it in the same location as a bunch of other outdoor antennas to see how it performs. Both the base model and extension elements will be tested. If you decide to purchase this antenna, be sure to use one of my affiliate links in the pin comp below or in the description of the video to help support my YouTube channel. 
Here are the results from the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. From left to right, you'll see the TV station, the call letters, RF channel the TV station broadcasts on, and the results of the previous two antennas I tested out on the YouTube channel. All of these TV stations are about 42 miles away with one mountain ridge between my home and the broadcast towers. The signal on KYW, which broadcasts on UHF channel 30, was higher on this antenna than the McDurry antenna and about the same as the five star antenna. The extension elements didn't seem to change the numbers, but would probably keep the signal more stable in bad weather conditions. The signal on WCAU, NBC10, which broadcasts on UHF channel 28, was higher on this antenna than the last two antennas I tested out. The extension elements did bring up the signal level a little bit. The signal on WPHL, which broadcasts on UHF channel 17, was also higher on this antenna than the last two antennas I tested out. The extension elements didn't change the numbers, but again, would probably keep the signal more stable in bad weather. The trend continues for the signal on WTXF, which broadcasts on UHF channel 31. It was higher on this antenna than the last two antennas I tested out. The extension elements did increase the signal level on this channel. Like most small antennas, the Channel Master Pro base model had trouble picking up WHYY on VHF channel 13. The extension elements did help stabilize the channel to the point VHF performance was comparable to a medium-sized antenna. The antenna actually was able to pick up WDPN on low VHF channel 2 with the VHF extension attached. Now for the moment everyone in the Philadelphia area has been waiting for on my YouTube channel. Was this antenna able to pick up the trash signal of 6ABC? Oh man, how I just love to call it that. The trash signal of 6ABC. Unfortunately, no. The antenna was not able to pick up the trash signal of 6ABC at all. I can confirm that other antenna models, including larger ones made by Channel Master, were able to pick up the station. However, I wouldn't blame the antenna for this as 6ABC has such a horrible trash signal. So much so that I called out parent company Disney in a separate video. The VHF extension on the antenna did the trick for the low VHF channel 2 in my area and should pick up 6ABC fine in fair to strong signal areas. So overall, the performance of this antenna was excellent for the size. On the UHF band where most TV stations broadcast, it performed better than other small directional antennas I tested out. VHF performance was about the same as other small directional antennas, but as I said earlier in this video, you can't defy the laws of physics. In order to add more gain on the antenna, additional elements are needed. This antenna only has two VHF elements. Adding the VHF extension definitely helped, but again, count the number of elements. Channel Master does sell some larger models that perform better both on the high and low VHF band compared to this antenna. The selling point of this antenna is definitely the excellent build quality and good performance in a low profile design. I understand that many of you do not want a larger antenna on your roof, or maybe your wife, dare I say, I don't want that antenna on my roof. This one will probably do the trick within 40 or 50 miles of the broadcast towers or 60 miles if you have the extension elements. Anyone beyond 60 miles from the broadcast towers or with a lot of trees around the house, my concern would be that you'll need an antenna with better VHF performance as VHF stations tend to be much weaker than higher powered UHF stations. You can see this from my antenna reviews. The UHF channels are easily picked up between 60-80% to with small antennas, yet the VHF channels can barely be picked up at all. If some of the technical talk, low VHF, high VHF, UHF, and RF channels has you confused, consider signing up for my antenna recommendation service on my website at antennamanpa.com. I run a reception report at your location, take a look at the frequency, signal strength, and even tree coverage, determine what antenna will work best for you based on my experience testing out over 100 antenna models, and actually installing them in four different TV markets. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or as a member of my YouTube channel. 
In my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me. Visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button this video and you can also click the thanks button. This is a new feature YouTube just released. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I include a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.